Welcome back. Wait. Okay, now, from the beginning. Hit it, boys. You want to catch me with the greed in your words. So, good morning. I feel like I couldn't... I feel like I couldn't really do much more filming last night. For one, because there were other people trying to sleep and there are no actual doors. And for two, after I knew Ellie was, had arrived safely, I just kind of passed out. Anyway, facilities are actually quite good. There's a spa... Shower is very clean. As I was saying, the facilities are actually quite good. The all the little cabins are very clean. They're studiously tidied and cleaned up after a sheet change and all of that. You get towels. You even get a pair of pajamas to wear and walk around in. It's pretty good. You actually have a, sort of a they call it a spa. It's like a public bath, hot tub thing. I personally didn't try it out. I had enough onsen in Osaka. Was it the best night's sleep I've ever had? No, oh, definitely not. There were people snoring, people banging on doors, arriving late at night, all of that. Um, but it was a whole lot better than spending the night inside the airport, worrying about whether or not I was still gonna have my passport in the morning. Because I can guarantee you, having a passport that expires too early and having no passport, totally a different ball game. So, I now have my ticket. For those of you who do not know what the Shinkansen train is or does, it's the bullet train, traveling at 400 kilometers an hour. It should be fun. I'm keeping me captive, put locks on the doors. Did your best to scare me What I love about Japanese public transport is that it's so precise. They tell you you're gonna arrive at 12.05, you'll be there latest 12.06. And even that's embarrassing. I have literally five minutes to get to my train. And... <clears throat> that's the one. And I don't really have a lot of fear that I'm gonna miss it because we arrived 12.05, like they said. These Japanese trains are on time as fuck. I got on and literally within seconds the train started moving. But I'm on my way to Tokyo. Here we come. And we are in Tokyo. That was quick. It was two and a half hours from Osaka to Tokyo. That's 450 kilometers. That's nuts. So, Ivichu and I have fueled up on coffee and a sandwich. And we are now on our way to Kabukicho in Shinjuku to go grab a bite to eat and then do a bit of shooting there. See what we can find. Apparently there should be some quirky characters to find out there. We shall see. I might not really know where I'm going. I've had a look at a map. I know I need to be somewhere over there. But this is my favorite way to discover a city. Just walk. See what you find.